I'm so tapped up and we're back. So I have enough thingies for the cauldron. Thanks a lot. A hundred thousand lollipops for me. I also give you a brewing manual. It's gonna be useful. All right, so that's all we need there. Um, we can probably get some more candies. Actually, nah, I should be fine with a hundred thousand. Take a pond. Actually, the pond. I don't need the pond quite yet. So yeah, let's feed the mill. So now we get eight candies per second. Um, let's plant a couple thousand. I think we can get... All right, I think 100,000 is once again the default max. Also, I forgot to equip the polished silver sword last episode. So yeah, we, we also got the troll's bludgeon. It, it, it kind of helps to just check your inventory once in a while. Just be sure you got what you think you do because uh, yeah, it doesn't auto-equip anything in this game, because there's different reasons you might want different things, actually. So... Yeah, we'll probably want that lightweight body armor, actually, because that's... Hmm... We have a lot of different things we can do right now, but that's going to be pretty useful. So yeah, we'll go ahead and equip that body armor. Uh, the shoes don't do anything, I don't think. Um, we should be able to fight that octopus if we make some potions. So, um, health potions first. Easiest to brew, really. It only requires candies. Using quests, I'll heal you by giving you back 100 health points. Put 100 candies in your cauldron. Make sure a few seconds. Put into bottles. So, we're going to make about 50 of those it's just so we don't really need to make more anytime soon put 100 cauldron mix for a few seconds put into bottle 50 health potions what else can we make turtle potion turtle potion is a bit harder to brew than the health potion you will need both candies and lollipops if you drink this potion quest you will turn your turtle you'll be move slower but you'll also be more resistant to enemies attacks once you're a turtle, you will not turn over. You won't be able to get up. <laughs> See, I don't think we need turtle potions right now. Gravity. Sparky. There's actually platforming in this game, which is kind of strange. But, uh... Consider the very potion. Do not end any. Not a single one. Results would be unexpected. Interesting. Uh, the pea potion is a strange one. You can't predict what it's going to do. Yeah, that's just RNG. But, uh... The X potion is, the, is a really hard one. Um... Yeah, the, the, there's a... Yeah, I can't puzzle this out right now, but there's an easier way to make it than what's listed there. Uh, but we'll look up that when we need to. For right now, what we want to do is find one of these... Oops. One of these, and we're going to kill it. Alright, we should... Okay, we'll need a little bit of health. Well, your your magic and um, spell timers are separate. Uh oh, there we go, just barely. All right, so we got the octopus king crown. Um, before we we can actually enchant that for something very useful. But first things first. Oh right, I actually do need to brew that other thing like right now. Right, so the explosion's a pain in the butt, and so you basically just want to look this up. So you just want to put one candy in the cauldron. Heat it up until the water is cold, then stop. You repeat that. Four times, or three times until you boil cold, stop. Boil cold, stop. One lollipop. Heat that until the water is hot. Also, I like how the fire effect is. It looks a lot better in this. Well, it didn't have a visual effect. And the other one, uh-oh. Put into bottles. Okay, I, I thought I saw a very hot for a second there, so I thought maybe I messed it up. But, oh right, we're supposed to have music. Dang it, okay. Um, I'm not used to games that don't have their own freaking music over here. Let's get back into uh, Quest for Glory. Uh... Where's my playlist? Ugh. 
I use Google Play Music, and it doesn't like it doesn't like want to default to your own music. It's like, oh hey, do you want to like listen to this other dumb crap? You you know you 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 definitely want you know random people's music. Not why would you want your own music? That's silly. Uh yeah sure. So let's go quaff that expo. Oh wait, we have to be in a mission to uh, do that. Oh wait, actually never mind. First things first, it's a teeny bit loud, and that's a teeny bit quiet. There we go. Uh, first we need to wear this so that you're a lot more confident when you wear the Octopus King crown. It doesn't give you an advantage to quest, but self-confidence is important. It's actually very important. So let's, um, what the X-Potion does, it lets you fight yourself. You are now fighting yourself. You're very self-confident. You are very self-confident. You're very self-confident. Unfortunately, we seem to be taking damage at about the same rate. Actually, I wonder if I healing. But yeah, you, you survive with one HP because you are very self-confident. And so we gained the boots of introspection, which, um, fittingly enough, just make you stand in place, which is actually surprisingly. Quite useful. Oh wait, ah, let's just let's just toss some candies in the well to uh, regain my health. Now that I have that, I believe I can fight one of these. Oh wait, let's actually wait. No, I did put them on. Okay. The monkey wizard has homing bullets, but uh, if we never approach him, he will never jump out of the way. He just sort of slowly does damage with these homing bullets. And we can just kind of slowly spam him to death. Unfortunately, fireballs do take a long time to recover from. Eventually, we will be able to reduce our cooldown, but it is less important than a lot of other effects that we can achieve with the same item. So, uh oh. Let's just erase that magic. Is unfortunately a slow one, unless you have- we have certain things we could do to speed it up, but I uh, don't really have access to them. Actually, the item he drops will be one of the things that could actually speed it up quite a bit. Yeah, let's get your item. Oh, and 10,000 or 1,000 candies. We actually... Oh wait, first things first. I need to enchant something. Jaspers, right? Yes. So now we have some useful headgears. The, the Octopus King with Jaspers will frequently cast magic fireballs around you. Also, it's shining! Yeah, the Monkey Wizard Staff will frequently throw spells at your enemies, and then they auto-target. So let's go back. And we can actually fight the other thing a lot easier now, but yeah. Oh, I forgot about my boots of introspection. Doesn't really matter though. We can fight him anyway. I believe this guy drops 5,000 candies, which is actually pretty useful even now. Yeah, 4,000 candies. And we got another Octopus King crown. Uh, if you get an item and enchant it, you can always go back and get the original item in case you need it for whatever reason. Yeah, now we'll actually fight him a little bit faster because of all of this projectile spam we got going on. This projectile spam will be quite useful for a couple of later things. See, look at how much faster he goes down. Very nice. We also have a good amount of candies. Can we get anything in the shop or something? That actually doesn't have a use. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna buy the stuff because it's here. And this isn't really a huge amount of candies right now. Can I buy your hat? Oh, I can sell you buy hat, but it's very precious, you know. You'll have to give me a lot of candies. Let's say one million candies. That seems fair, right? Well, crap, I don't have a million candies. What do you got in the forge? It doesn't have anything to sell. Well... Hmm... Let's see if I can survive the forest. Oh, wait. So when you have the boots of introspection, you have to jump to uh, start moving forward. This area is actually really nice to farm with the equipment that I currently have. It's even 
It's a little bit faster with later stuff, but uh, I think we are already at the point where I can survive easily. If you recall, this was like murderously hard earlier. But yeah, the only thing here that is particularly dangerous is the trents, or whatever these are called. Um, tree spirits. They have those things they throw, the green pellets they throw are extremely high power, and unfortunately these mosquitoes behind us are constantly distracting our fireballs, or our magic things. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. As you can see... Oh gosh. Um, health potion please. As you can see, those green pellets from the uh, tree spirits hurt a lot. So you just kind of want to be real careful whenever those are on screen. And if you get if you get stuck on top of a wolf, they can attack you, but I don't think you can attack them. But fortunately, our fireball, our random fireball effect will destroy most things that end up caught behind us. Assuming they're not stronger than us. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No! Oh, freaking hell. That's why that quest is pretty annoying. I should probably just remove the boots of introspection so I don't have to worry about that anymore. That was... I didn't actually mean to keep those on. I don't think this is doing anything. Simple other boots, nothing special about them. Oh wait, I might... This might be a bad idea without healing. Yeah, whatever, we're doing fine. Yeah, this is... With the boots of introspection, as long as you have the equipment I have now, um, I can just sit here at the very front or very end of the level and just spam enemies to death for free... Um, for candies, because we get quite a lot of candies at this point here. So uh, that could be quite useful. But just to finish off, we actually don't want those boots. Um, those mosquitoes do constantly attack you from the left. Um, that's sort of to try and prevent you from uh, doing exactly that. But the, um, the thing about that is, I don't think we can get over to that thing, can we? Oh wait, we have the teleport spell, so I guess I no, I need a I need an anti grab potion to get that. Um, there we go. Wait, what did I get? We found a heart pendant. So we actually have to reach the end of this to uh, get our item, and I need a special item to get that thing over there to fall in that pit. Um, we unfortunately don't have it right now. Do you, you want to kill that guy? You know what? Th there'll be later enemies that are easier to kill. Wait, if I just stand under him... Aw, oh, come on. If this would target the same... Yeah, as long as this, the monkey thing is targeting the same enemy, um, it'll hurt them more than they passively heal. But uh, you have to be in the right position for it to actually target. It's a, It's targeting is a little wonky. You kind of want to get fairly close to let it do its work, and also sometimes the random fireballs will help you. They only move in, I think, yeah, eight directions, but they're not really... It's only really the straightforward and back ones that are particularly useful, unless you're really lucky. Stupid fruit flies. Alright. This has been an awful summer. Is it still summer? I don't I don't know when the solstice crap happened. Oh. What are you doing? No, monkey thing. Monkey thing. Okay. That was a little dangerous. I don't know when it... Oh, come on. Why is it targeting up there? Like I said, it's pretty freaking wonky. But fortunately, these enemies don't regen. Uh, it also does damage on contact, but very little. And I don't know how much the en these enemies do. I've never had to fight these enemies directly. And I really don't want to find out they're like murderously powerful or something. Yeah, I just want this item over here. We'll have to revisit here, because I need a couple of items to get the two other treasure chests that I missed. Excuse you, please die. Oh god, oh god, oh my gosh. that That's why I didn't want to get close. So yeah, he, they have spears, and spears hurt us a lot. Okay, finally. Okay. It's so annoying that this area is taller than the others. So yeah, four chocolate bars. So we have quite a few chocolate bars now. Oh, I believe we also have enough to do a certain something that's very nice and special. Bloop. 
Okay. Keep your quest. Wait, did I take damage by falling? Nah, whatever. Um, yeah, let's, let's, you know what? I have five, I have 55,000 candies. What do I need candies for? I'm just gonna throw all these on the ground. You threw 130 candies on the ground? Crying face? Look at him. He's having an existential crisis. He's like, no, come on. Why are you throwing candies on the ground? I'm gonna destroy something if you don't stop. Do it. Do it. Look at him. Look at him. You, you're gonna, you're gonna destroy that? I don't care about that. Stop. Well, I guess I'm just gonna leave then. You, you do that, jerk. You just leave. You get out of here. I don't even care. Get, get out of here. Crap, a wall. I'm trapped here. Maybe, maybe I could dig. Dig in the ground. Dig, 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 dig. Oop! Spoop! Wow, I didn't expect that. Sorry, I couldn't read that one. It looks like a cave. Oh, there's a chest over here. I guess I should open it. I found a chocolate bar! Hey, listen. I'll give you the chocolate bar if you swear to stop throwing candies. Okay? Throw ten last candies to let me know if you agree. I agree. Good. Here's the bar. No more throwing. Actually, I lied. Hey? You're still throwing candies! Candies are very precious, you know. I'm out of here. Dig, 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 dig. At this point, you know, you could stop here if you wanted to. It is a room full of giant candies! Well, don't worry about the candies you threw. Just let me eat these candies and you're forgiven. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, now he just eats the candies. See so, ya. Yeah, that's all that happens there. I almost clicked eat all the candies, so don't need to do that quite now. I think we're out of things to buy here, right? Yeah. Anything to do with lollipops? We could dig a pond! You buy a lollygator. There's one lollygator in the pond. So yeah, you feed lollipops to the lollygators, and this continues, um, like, it's exponential growth, so, like, it's five a second here. If I bought, like, ten of them, it'd be, like, ten thousand a second. So yeah, we don't have enough to boost our candy production, so we're... See, there's anything in the shop? Nope. Nothing to forge still. Alright, we need to go to the castle first. Oh, I actually don't... Hmm. Actually, that might be alright here. The castle's entrance is not really that hard right now. Um, it's not super easy either, but... Okay, the problem is these last few peoples. Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, so we're just a teeny bit too weak there. There is an item we can get that helps out a lot. Oh, and I have low health, but whatever. Oh wait, actually, I don't want this... Yeah, let's do the tribal spear here. You can enchant the spear and it summons little duders that'll follow you, or they lead in front of you. But uh, we don't really need that right now. So jump into the sea. There's actually a few different things we can get in the sea. Um, several of them involve killing sharks, which I'm not sure I can kill the sharks yet, but another one of them is just at the bottom of the sea randomly. And uh, hopefully we'll find it, maybe we won't. See, so yeah, the acid rain can't even kill fish. I think we eventually get something that increases... I, I don't know. There's some items that we can get in deep in the sea that I actually didn't get in my first playthrough. Because, um... It's all RNG and it takes quite a while to, uh... Potentially happen. Uh-oh. Okay, so fireball. Fireball the thing. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Fireball it. Okay. Wait. Oh, that was just a dangerous... That was just a dangerous fish. That was not a shark. Which, that is unfortunate because sharks are special things that have um, something I need. Alright, this! This is kind of our mini boss fight. It's fairly easy. Um, the most important thing is to shoot, like, clear yourself out of space with fireballs. And they don't have much health, so the random fireballs can actually take them down pretty easily. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. The most annoying ones are one of them tracks you and one of them constantly moves up and down. And the other ones are just stationary. Aw, oh, come on. The main annoyance is their hitbox does not really... Uh, I keep forgetting to watch the, the ocean floor. There's... Oh, you eventually just advance past them. Oh, hey, there's the thing! 
Um, can't, can't you see that this is clearly an item? We found a sponge. Yeah, that, that, that was a sponge. That, that just pile of ASCII garbage was a, uh, obviously, I mean, a, uh, a thing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, kill it. Wait, did, did I get something from the thing? Okay, the sea serpents, like, are instant death. But, uh, fortunately, if you die in there, it doesn't actually matter. So let's see what we got now. We got the heart pendant. That was from... Where was that? I think we got that in the, um, in the hole. And we got the magical sponge. It allows you to squeeze yourself just like a sponge, reducing your size. The time ring. We actually got that in town. Third house key. Um, do we have any better boots? No. Spears. Yeah, we didn't get the thing from the shark that we could have. Um, crap. It's not really a big deal, though. Uh, it increases your lollipop production, which isn't a huge limiting factor. Um, what else do I need to do? Let's heal up. Um, well, first things first, let's uh, squeeze. And while you're squozing, you... Um, you just slip under these guys. They do one hit on you, but uh, they can only deal about like 300 damage or so. Oh, no, they do a bit more than that, but yeah. Since we have our pink healing thing, like, I think that would have killed us if I didn't have the pink healy thing, but I did. See, so now we can go to the castle. Um, we'll go to the hole in just a bit here. Uh, a room! Up, oh, spikes. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, a dark room. Which is actually extremely bright because of the oh, because of the invert colors thing. Um, what was that? <laughs> it didn't tell us what that was. Uh, a pitchfork. Special pitchfork allows you to loosen the soil without turning it over, therefore preserving well ground soil. It will triple the production of your lollipop farm. Now that's eco friendly. Uh, a big room. Oh, I'm a very old bread oven. I used to cook tons of good pastries, but no one is using me more anymore. Maybe you could help me? Just let me take some sweets from you. Don't worry, you won't regret it. You can trust me. All right, let all the, the oven take all the sweets at once. This is the scariest freaking option, but all it takes is 100 candies and one chocolate bar. The chocolate bars are very important, but I'm not sure how many I need to make. I think I want at least eight. Um, attack the giant nougat monster. It seems to be asleep. Yeah, let's kill it. Kill that nougat monster. That's what you get for sleeping on the job, punk. I'm gonna beat you up. I'm gonna tear you a new nougat hole. Uh, did its eyes open? I know it's up. Oh. The monster killed you with nougat. You failed. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Um. You, you have to see the freaking message you get when you die in the forest. It's freaking horrifying. Like, some of these death messages are, are brutal. Like, okay. You can die any time, my little friend. Alright, the tree thing will kill us. There we go. You die in the forest. The tree's leaves should soon be covering your body. Now let's die in here, too. Jump in this big hole in the ground. You died while falling in the hole. No one will probably ever find your body down here. Some spikes killed you with its spikes. Uh, yeah, the game can be rather grim um, with its little death descriptions. Um, which is kind of funny because you obviously don't really die. You kind of just pop back out, but whatever. So, yeah, and like I said, I think if I saved and came back in, the healing count yeah, the healing price would be reset again. So yeah, we need a bunch of anti-grav things. The cauldron is here. Uh, the pea potion, berserk, anti-gravity potion. Thousand candies, yeah, let's make... If we make ten of those, we should be good. Heat up until water is lukewarm. Stop heating up, add another ten thousand. Um, oops. Heat up until the water is boiling. Then you put it into the bottles. All right. I really do like the 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 upgrade in the graphics, the ASCII look. Bubbles begin to appear. And 
Boiling. Made 50 anti-gravity potions. Oh, right. You make five for each one of these. So that's, that's probably more than I need for the whole game, but that's fine. So the cool thing about... Oops. What did I do? I think I accidentally cast something. Oh, Acid Rain. Useful. Very useful. So yeah, we are Squozen. And we have... Um, just got to flip through that gap there. Now, anti-gravity is G. So we got to jump, use the anti-gravity, swoop over here, drop down. Um, open a chest and found a desert fortress key. See, I, I I forgot to even check, but if you try to open that, there's a, that castle looking thing in the uh, ding dang old desert and you can't get into it. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. But uh, we can go in there now. So yeah, and for this one, we want time slowing. Time slowing is free, and you can turn it on or off at any time. Uh, it does not usually benefit you in any way. I mean, you can, it gives you more time to, like, react to stuff. Actually, does it? One thousand. No, it doesn't uh, let you use spells any faster. But it gives you, you, you can time your spell and potion uses a bit easier. But yeah, you also, I'm pretty sure you have to use the, uh, there's the Acid Rain I cast a long time ago. Um, but you have to teleport to get back out of there. But you should really have the teleport spell by now. I really like how this game handles the, the spells instead of the first game with the scrolls. Like, they were random and consumable, and it was just kind of annoying, but... Yeah. Alright, exit the quest and keep what we found. So what we found was, in fact, the Black Magic Grimoire. You found this grimoire in a cave. It was very hard to reach, and that was for a reason. It provides you two powerful black magic spells. The first one created a giant wall made of obsidian bricks in front of you, which can be useful to slow down your enemies. The second one will summon a swarm of demons attacking everyone in the quest, including you. Be careful with this one. Yeah, the demon one is actually really, really useful. The other thing we found... What else do we find? Um... Oh, we found the desert key. Wait, isn't that... Does the desert key not show up in here? Oh, there, there it is. The desert fortress key. <clears throat> so, in the desert fortress, there's three doors. You can choose between three doors. It's a big room with a treasure at the end. Up. Oh, splat. This one is actually easier with the treasure from this room. Which, uh... To get up there... Get to the third room. There's a chest up there. How to reach it? We actually need a different item to get in there. And this one! The giant teapot. And it has a billion frickin' HP. And you know what? I hate giant teapots, so I'm gonna break it. And you know, this would actually be a really convenient time to go ahead and split the video. So yeah. When we come back, I'll have killed this giant teapot in like 8 million years. Um, there's a faster way to defeat this. If you have the last weapon... Actually, I can get the last weapon. What am I doing? Um, we didn't finish up in the castle, did we? Let's ascend the stairs. And it's, it's a giant foot. Let's kill it. Can I, can I fireball? A dragon foot. So much HP out of so much HP. I don't think that's going to work. Oh! Hey you, stop tickling me, please. Oh, uh, sorry, I thought I was supposed to attack you. I am the dragon, and this is my castle. I see that you have managed to enter. You must be very brave. I love to help someone like you. What are you looking for? Challenge. Fame. Candies. I'm looking for candies. Ultimately, the thing we all want is candies, isn't it? I think a friend of mine could help you with that. You'll recognize him easily. He you know, has only one eye. I'll tell him that you know me. That is actually one of the most annoying puzzles in the game. Um, so, if we go to challenge, we'll need some better equipment for the challenge. Um, but we can easily get that here. So let's summon the black demons, which are white demons, in um, <laughs> because we uh, have inverted the colors. But hey, it looks pretty nice with the, the black background, right? Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. I think we might be toast. Yeah, we're toast. Shoot. Um, we need better... Wait, I have all my best equipment, don't I? Uh, I guess it's just kind of luck. Well, I, I took all that damage from the freaking jerk butt uh, demons that I didn't really need to summon. So yeah, what we're looking for here, they can drop some armor, and that'll be much better than what I currently have. Found body armor. There we go! That's all we needed. See, so yeah, now we can get out of here. See, so yeah, health potions do help here. Um, they won't. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Dang, 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 dang! Oh, come on. <sighs> well, in the shop? No. In the forge. We can buy a scythe for five million candies. Uh, unfortunately, we need the bodyguard armor for that. I'll... Well... Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. What does the Panau chocolate do? Hello, Wanderer. If you throw a Panau chocolate into me, you give me a very special gift. More power, more health, or more magic? We want more power. This will actually make the final boss a lot easier. See, so yeah, we just want to throw all that in there. This will actually make some of the other stuff I have to do easier too. See, so I don't have any more Panama chocolate. Um, so let's heal up. I'm gonna have to save and reload so that doesn't start costing ridiculously much money. But yeah, we should. Uh, oh, I should look up how much of a buff do I get? Your attacks are 160% more powerful. So yeah, things die a lot faster now. That's actually very important for the final boss, because we can't... Uh, th there's some tricky ways to deal with the final boss, but it uh, the, the only way I've found that actually works is just complete raw power. Th there's some strategies I just don't really... Oh god. No, 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 no! Let me go, let me go, let me go! Why is it spawning so quickly? Oh, for frickin... Well, I'll just do that off screen. I don't know why it's giving me such grief. That should be really easy. But yeah, stay tuned next time for more adventuring.